Welcome to the Plantation Estate. I'm here with Pinky. Sadika. Now we are in Plantation Project, which is which area we are now? We are near Maprashan Lake. It's mm -hmm. only five minutes to Maprashan Lake and around 20 minutes to Patea Central Festival. Yeah, around here I have like uh, international school, region school, rugby school. Yes. And many experts and foreigners like to live here, right? Because you have like so yeah, I'm country club, also Bira Circuit, as you know. So many golf courses, many international schools, mm -hmm. and yeah, as you say, very popular for expats. And also because it's very quiet here and we have a lot of tranquility here. Mm -hmm. So on our right side is the swimming pool. For the house that we are here, 240 Palangwa of the land. Yes. Three bedroom, three bathroom, and have like a garage with the automatic door yes and behind us is the big swimming pool 10 it's, meter yes 10 by 5 mm -hmm. meters exactly which is a nice size to also doing some exercise but as you see, you see the land over there is much bigger so you can even extend the pool up to 17 meters yeah so the concept of the project plantation actually they want the house have like a nature waters and you know like um, tropical garden so this is like a nice concept where you have the house with the garden nice wind wood decoration this side of the house is modern so it's become like a modern tropical exactly mm -hmm. and what is nice here is the entrance area right hand side as we say is the swimming pool left hand side is another sitting area mm -hmm. which is very nice because you have the ceiling fan and here's also always a natural flow of wind so it's very good for doing some barbecues in the evening or even enjoy your uh, cappuccino in the morning there's still plenty of garden space around even here on the front and you have some sun chairs over here and mm -hmm. also a lot of more space around the house so you could even do another guest bungalow or right. something like this in this garden because this land is huge you not find like this kind of big land in many modern uh, villas so this is right. some kind of like a unique concept mm -hmm. to have like plots with this big size of a land you know the wall it's like a made with the stone quite nice and on the left hand side is the room for the pool Yes, it's a pump And room. as Pierre said, like the garden is so big, so you can decide to be uh, some more like sport area or playground or have some more rooms in the house. And the concept of the owner here is a little bit like a customized, as I say. So inside the house, if you want to change something, it's built by order, so you can decide what you like or the layout, if you want to change a little bit or make a longer or wider or more bedroom the owner always welcome for any ideas or the swimming pool with any color if you like yes so, so all is custom size. made so you can mm -hmm. even extend the house more to this size so that is all no problem okay after the swimming pool and the sitting area the out, uh, out outdoor sitting area we're coming here to the entrance the entrance is also nice to have another more sitting area here you have also the ceiling fan on top so you always get like a good amount of wind over here mm -hmm. and here you can already see they have like these big uh, windows which is like a floor to ceiling high which gives inside a ton of natural light mm -hmm. and now we are coming inside follow so us Welcome. Here we are in the living area. 
modern tropical design with wood. Yeah, they, know, they use like a lot of modern and like a, a lot of teak wood, let's say. So which really makes it like a modern tropical home, as you said. Mm -hmm. And this part is nice, the table where you can see like from, from the real wood and different, they cut it all the part and match together. Yes. It's quite nice and unique. Probably later you can put like a glass plate on top, otherwise all the small part falling inside. <laughs> oh, but yes. it's uh, nice to have a table like this. Two sofas and the TV corner is over here. Mm -hmm. The living space, I would say, is quite quite wide, quite big. So yeah, you still can use a lot of space for, I don't know, have welcome area and living room area and together with dining table so yeah so the dining table is over here we have a space for six persons but mm. you can put like a two more seats at the at the end of each side so it's a three bedroom so we have six persons six. for yeah. the dining table six mm -hmm. seats. this space is nice because you have a big glass door where the light is always in, you know, so you also can see the plant near your wall. So it's, it's pretty nice, like... Yeah, the, and what the they did is wide. that they do the um, window from like a floor to ceiling. Mm -hmm. And you can also open and uh, access to like a small garden on the back. Actually, what the developer is doing nice on this house is that they have this uh, stone wall on the, on the back, which actually takes uh, eight person to do uh, for two months. So they're working two months on this stone wall all around the house because it's made from like a real stone. So it's and one it's by not one, like a brick, right? normal brick wall. So it's a real, real stone wall. So it takes quite a while. And mm -hmm. what is nice that they put like a lot of plants and greenery around. So it mm -hmm. gives it like a very natural feeling to the house. So the kitchen area is huge. So we're starting off here with a uh, two doors refrigerator from Teka mm -hmm. and uh, over here we have uh, a lot of cabinetries and we have also microwave and uh, oven okay. from Teka and of course in a luxury house you also need always a wine cooler so we have a wine cellar over here we have like a nice uh, white granite uh, countertop and of course like a stove top for two pots and two pans and with the hood also, quite like a nice, nice design. Actually, um, you can design the kitchen as you want, like mm -hmm. they give a budget of 650,000 baht, so you can do choose a red kitchen, color. you can do a black kitchen, you can choose like a, what kind of cabinets you want, you can choose like a, all the top quali mm -hmm. quality, what you want, like if it's over 650,000 baht budget, and then you just pay the the extra amount on top mm -hmm. but here they have the nice uh, big thing from Franke and this this color I, I love it actually is the tire yes but the color is you know it's matched with the floor and the kitchen and it's make look like you know not too boring because it like a plain color probably look too boring yes true yeah, if so everything is white so at least it nice. gives some structure to the to the kitchen which mm -hmm. is nice yes so this is all about the kitchen so then we are going to the master bedroom mm -hmm. three bedroom three bathroom so we start with master first aha maybe before we go to the bedroom we pass a little bit award the so yeah actually have they have a lot of some awards nice award, no? yeah got property thailand property award this one the latest one this one from last year yes even they have like a, a international property awards from like a uh, London mm -hmm. and also from the Asia Pacific Property Awards. So this uh, housing development is actually the fourth project of the owner. They did uh, the Vineyard before, one, two, three, one, two, three yeah. and this one is their fourth project. Mm -hmm. 
here we are in master bedroom so the feeling of master bedroom is like oh, when you wake up 180 degree you see pool garden so this is the concept of plantation that you have a feeling of tropicals and, and garden and nature yeah and the good part is that the land is so big, they have the smallest land is actually 180 uh, square wa, mm -hmm. and the biggest one is uh, over 200 square wa, right. or you can even combine it. They have uh, plenty of space to the right side of the house where it's a nice garden, so you can like uh, enjoy the view like from the bedroom to of the swimming pool and of the garden. So, and after the master bedroom, we come here to like a walk-in wardrobe, wardrobe, which is nice to have it as well. Uh -huh. So many brand names. Yes. Yeah, so uh, the building come like this, walk in wardrobe, so you can like, hang your clothes, leave your bag and shoes and cosmetic, your watch, accessories. Yeah, and this one is actually nice to have like this. They have like this display where you can leave like a watch or belt or something like this. And even mm -hmm. here they have on top the glass so you always remember what you have and over here is the master bathroom bathroom so which is nice because they also have a bathtub over here mm -hmm. and it's a very big size actually you have the toilet you have like a double sink setup and a very big mirror yeah you can see at like a walk around <laughs> so the side of the bathroom quite nice and shower with the rain shower yeah, so they have a rain shower system and also like the area is pretty big as you can see here. I can even stretch my arms and cannot reach both walls. Okay, so now I want to bring everybody to the other side of the house. It's on the left side when you come in. We can go over here to our left side, which is also part of the front side of the house where we have like this nice big bedroom as well guest bedroom mm -hmm. or second bedroom uh, you have like a big window glass where you can also enjoy the pool and the garden here um, the owners say every house will not look into each other because every house is like a little step it's yeah like this one was so one of the most important concepts of the owner that they give like a, for every house mm -hmm. like a very good amount of privacy mm -hmm. and i mean like what is also good with all these big windows that they bring in like a ton of natural light this even this bedroom also have like a walk-in closet yeah which is quite good space too okay smaller than master base but you still have a lot of space for your clothes let's see and many shell upstairs and downstairs for the shoes and bag which i would say like quite big and next is bathroom of course the bathroom is a little bit smaller than in the master bedroom so we have a setup for one thing toilet over there the shower room is uh, all, almost the uh, same size, but mm -hmm. of course here we don't have a bathtub. Mm -hmm. But for like a guest uh, bathroom, it's also very nice size. Mm -hmm. The sink and the toilet, they use American standard brand and also the rain shower. Here is the entrance to like a guest toilet, uh -huh. which also leads us to another bedroom as well. Mm -hmm. So this, this um, guest toilet, uh, yeah, they will have to share with this uh, guest bedroom. Yeah, it's nice to have such a big uh, guest toilet. So, toilet over here. We have here the same style of sink setup. One mm -hmm. sink over here. And I mean, like this um, shower is also very big, which is nice to, to have it. And they use like a very high quality of American standard. Following us over here, we're coming into the walk-in wardrobe again. So every bedroom has a walk-in wardrobe, which is nice. Actually, you could also design and let the owner design it to close up uh, this wardrobe with some mirrors and some sliding doors, of course. But right. now the owner decided to make it a little bit like an open-style wardrobe. Mm -hmm. But if you want to change it, of course, no problem at all. Yeah. And you see here also here, they have one, two, three, windows in this uh, bedroom as right. well to just uh, get also a lot of natural light inside yeah, and you so see there's like a more than one meter distance to the wall so that's also good that all your 
windows are not like opening directly and you're just facing directly a wall so all around wow. the house they just leave a quite big space mm -hmm. And uh, another point to mention is that they have uh, Daikin aircon, which is nice. They have all this cassette, mm -hmm. which is really like a fitting well into the ceiling. So you don't have like this wall mounted aircons, which always looks a little bit cheap in a house. is uh, on a plot of 240 square wire. 240 square wire even so they have a plot size 180 80, 205 240 yes, 40. but if you of course like bigger you can also combine the plot yes mm -hmm. so the house now is starting from 21 million baht mm -hmm. which gives you of course all the bathroom, all the kitchen is included, the swimming pool, uh, five by 10 meters is included, mm -hmm. the outside terrace, of course everything is included. If you want uh, to get the furniture, it's another 1.6 million. Right, I mean so far table like loose furniture. Yeah, loose bed. furniture, but you see it's all like a very high quality, so mm -hmm. the 1.6 million is like a justifiable. And uh, the developer also offers now a rental guarantee of 6% for three years. Mm -hmm. So if you just buy this villa like a purely for investment purpose, mm -hmm. you can just buy the furniture pack for 1.6 million on top and get 6% mm -hmm. for three years. three years. Yeah, so it's just open option, like if you're not living by yourself and want to invest, of course, because the owner, he know that uh, the villa can rent out quite easy, you know, yes. there are many people like this area, like expat or holiday people or even a foreigner who live in Patea. Yes, so yeah, also in this village like many plots already sold, so mm -hmm. they're mostly like a, a retirees, expats, even like a Thai politician buying these houses. So oh, yes. the, 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 the clients who are buying this is like a very uh, High-end. Uh, High-end, mm. high yeah, as the villas are also very high-end. Mm. So, that was it about the plantation. We hope you guys enjoy the video. Please uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we hope to see you guys on the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye.